saying, you know what? I shouldn't have to keep saying I'm back. Forgive me. And I appreciate your patience. Consistency is not really my thing. You know what? Take that back. Discipline is something I've always struggled with, but I do excellent at it. Ooh, you see these? Ooh, that's not cute. But I'm excellent at it in one thing at a time, if that makes sense. Like when I'm about my weight goals, I'm disciplined. But everything else, you know, is just lacking. And making a video is one of those things. But I had a little job interview today. It went well, whether I get it or not. I'm cool. I enjoy it. I like questions and interacting. Like, it was dope questions. I really did truly enjoy it. Um, I'd be grateful if I did. But if it didn't, I wholeheartedly believe in everything happens for a reason. So I'm not going to be stressed about it. But if you want to wish your girl a good luck, you could do that. So do that. But yeah, my mom was like, look, girl, you look cute today. You should make a video. And I'm like, mm mom i've been having a really lot of really lot i've been having a lot of great conversations and i'd be like dang i wish these was recorded i wish like it was a cameraman like you know or i had you know a microphone it'd be genuine conversation so i figure let me bring some things to the forefront um I'm kind of getting up there in age. I'm young, a young tender on me, but I'm still kind of getting up there in age. And I think that it's really important with the thought in the back of my mind, if I am blessed to have children, I'm in the right marriage and right circumstances. I will bring children into this world, God willing. And I feel like it's very important to know where I come from so I can be able to tell my children. So I recently had a conversation with my grandma and my great grandma chimed in and my mom, you know, figuring out who my family members were that passed before I was born and I didn't get to witness. And some people that passed before my mom was born and people that passed even before my grandma was born. Um, yeah, so it was cool, interesting hearing different stories and knowing where I come from. And I need to work on that with my dad's side. Actually, he did tell me a lot about being raised on a farm and interactions and stuff like that. But it is a lot more that I need to learn. And it's some pictures that I need to see. I need to see who I look like. I look like my daddy. You your daddy, son. Um, but I look like my mama, too. I look like my mama, too. But I look like my daddy, though. But I look like my mama, too. So, i just been very inquisitive trying to figure out what is going on where do i come from you know not ancestry.com i haven't done that but i've just been asking questions with the people i can connect with at this moment and also i was asking about my parents views on marriage because my mom typically will speak to me about relationships more so um we do talk about marriage but i don't know if there was ever an official conversation about marriage but I was like, you know what? I'm going to ask my daddy because I want to know. Oh my gosh. Okay, my work computer is ringing and they know I'm off. I hope, I don't know, it's be a little bit of distraction. I'm like, should I stop talking and like let it ring? Or maybe y'all ignore it. Maybe it's just loud to me. Maybe y'all don't even hear it. I don't know. But so I had spoke to my dad and I wanted to know, you know, what his ideas was on relationships and marriage. So boom. So let me tell you one thing that he told me, okay, argue, argue with your mama. But he said, looks are very important to a man. A man will pick the woman that dresses up and is into her fitness, health and appearance over a t-shirt and jeans type woman. And I'm going to be honest, like. I usually, when I'm on FaceTime with my friends, they, they know. Bonnet, no makeup, crusty. And, but when I know I'm about to post on Instagram or I'm about to post a video, your girl be doing it up. But my mom has always taught me, make sure you have your lip gloss. You know, uh-oh, hold on. Y'all know I be iffy about these lines. But my mom always tell me, get your lip gloss popping, have your earrings in, you know, edges laid, you know, just do a little eye makeup. You ain't got to do too much. And I don't, I have not followed her lead. Like she has taught me these things, but I don't, maybe it's just the laziness. Maybe it's back in the day. It was cute to be 
one of the guys or I thought it was like, oh, I can run with the guys and I can play football and I can, oh, I can throw it over there. I can do what y'all do. <laughs> oh, I can spit further than you. I don't know. Um, maybe identity crisis. I, I, I'm i just trying to figure it out. But I've been watching Legally Blonde. I watched Legally Blonde 2 and Legally Blonde 1. Why did I say it in the opposite order? I don't know. But those movies with Reese, Reese Witherspoon has made me want to be girly. Like, fix my posture and just be nice and talk proper. And if somebody's rude to you, don't be rude back. Just be understanding, but be smart and um, black, of course. But just cute. Like, it's the appearance wearing dresses. I was telling my friend, I was like, girl, like, I just want to be cute. I want to be girly. She's like, you know, you used to wear dresses like every day in high school. And I'm like i did i did that um my memory is not good so forgive me if i'm repeating myself like it might be on some grandma type terms and sometimes i'd be saying this and i didn't repeat myself but i'm 163.8 163.8 163.5 dang i feel like i said that already i'm I, I don't know if i did i'm just gonna insert the picture but so he said make sure you're in your appearance i wholeheartedly believe that we all know guys are visual creatures i mean let's take guys out of out of it for now but you typically decide if you're going to talk to someone or get to know them better after you see the visual but yeah men are into looks so you out here wearing your scarf your bonnet you know i'm not getting cute and then you got you know people around that's looking good you know, they might have a wandering eye because it's like, dang, you ain't even trying to get cute for me. So I'm working on getting up, dressing up, being cute. But to be honest, I haven't really been doing it because y'all know I would have been on here making a video. Or maybe not. I don't know. Um, but yeah, he said that that's, that's really essential. So I said, okay, cool. I'm going to make sure I get it right. This is not going to get me married. Oh, wait, hold on. That's not going to get me married. But it's okay. Because I'm going to fix it. I just ran out of um nail polish remover. But when I get it right, I'm going to get it right. Sorry, mom. My mom is really into her nails and her looks. And she be looking bomb, okay? She know how to keep some man. I got to take notes. All right, he said, get with a man who was already successful and chose you after success because men with st money and status go after who they actually want. If you get picked by an average man who hasn't reached his goals yet, he'll tolerate you because you're the best he can do right now. His options will open up and he'll have more choices once he has more money and status. Now, dad, I believe it. I believe it because it's not okay. We always got to gotta get disclaimers. It's not absolute, okay? You do have people like LeBron James or um, Steph Curry, you know, that have met their sweethearts in high school and, you know, stayed down with them. That's a little bit, that's a little bit different. Okay, that's over there. I'm talking about, you got this dude, you didn't held him down, you been with him, you done everything right. But you just not his type, for real, for real. Like, you his, you, you cute. You know, you cool, but you ain't like what he want. So everybody know when a dude get money, because you'll be looking at a dude that got money and you be like, dang, his girl look good. He ugly. He, he ugly, but she look good. And it's like, oh, he must have money. Because when you got bank and you got status, it just opens up room for more opportunity of women because women want to provide them. Women want men with money. So they're going to go after the dude with money so it's like yeah this is the best i could do right now like think about it if a dude be like oh my gosh my crush is rihanna like if i ever had to change blah blah and now he executive producer of a a record label and he making millions on millions and now he's at these fancy events and then boom he see rihanna she's single or whatever now he's in the opportunity to get the type of woman he want so they go back to number one make sure you looking good okay and I'm not saying you can't hold a guy down and you can't be with a guy because definitely it could work out. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a, you know, hold it down type sister, but I'm just saying, you know, you know, for real, for real, you his type. 
if he got everything in order, got the money, got everything right, blah, 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 and then he come after you. That's all I'm saying. I said, dang, dad, like, that's, that's the truth. People don't want to admit it, you know? Because some guys, they have a lot of, like, little secrets and stuff that they don't want to be out there. Women, too. My back itching. He has said something else. Oh, what he said to me, he said, you need to be with a guy who is more into you than you are him. It has to be this way. Like, you can't be more into the guy because he ain't going to like that. And he, he'll stick around with you if you're doing what you're supposed to do and you cool. But you're going to be in the meantime or between time until he get what he really want, which is somebody that ain't too possessive and, like, on him like you. And I was like, dang. He was like, yeah, you can, you know, just like him or you can just love him. And that's enough because if you know a dude is really, really into you, like, really down for you, then... If you even if you don't have as strong as feelings as he does, you're gonna remain faithful to him because you know he got you like that. But if you just like running behind him and you on him and he don't gotta chase you, I mean it don't have to be a constant chase, okay? Because I gotta give disclaimers in the world today because everybody be like, oh my god, oh my god. So it's not a situation like you gotta keep playing hard to get when you already got him. But you don't need to be doing too much because you start doing too much, then he gonna look for somebody else because he, you know, he wanna chase. Like men are hunters. If you're not giving him nothing to hunt and you just you hunting him down, girl, he's gonna be like, look, this this just not working out. Like these are reverse roles. So that's the, like the things that he was telling me, and then he was like, of course, make sure you with a guy that's doing better than you, that can motivate you, that can pull you up um finances are very important so even if you can't be with a guy that's a sole provider at least like if he's contributing because it's going to come down to a lot when it's time to take care of children and have things like that cool so i'm like going off the top of the limb right now but we going to chat i'm gonna go to my instagram and see what i had said or whatever because i've been really talking about making sure you you're married first before you have children and i'm gonna tell you this i was the i don't need no man oh i could get a baby i could take care of that baby by myself like i don't need that i don't need that so a lot of things that i speak on um it's because i've experienced in a way like i had those thoughts and then it was like oh wait new information new perspective changed it up so i haven't been on social media like that like that um but i'm gonna tell y'all some things that i said i was noticing i said there are a lot of mother and daughter relationships that need healing and i pray for that over all the women who are blessed to have a mom still on this earth it really is like You know, like, daughters really be a mini-me of their mother. So, when your mother, like, feisty, she got that mouth, you know, some unhealed trauma, it, like, comes in your child and your child be a reflection of you and it forced you to confront yourself like, oh, shoot. Sometimes mothers be jealous of their daughters or, you know, just maybe it ain't some respect there. Um, It's a very difficult relationship to have. So, if you have a healthy relationship with your mom, shout out to you. If you don't, I am praying for you. I'm big into counseling, life coaching. So, make sure you seek some assistance because I think that's a really important relationship to have. And if it's something that you value and you want to see better, definitely, definitely pour into that. But even like looking at social media, when I look at how people behave and how people act and what they put out my mind first goes to what type of parents do they have what type of family do they come from i don't judge i don't you know we're, we're human but i have no right to judge i don't really be judging but i just like look at them and i immediately think like what type of family do you come from um the next thing i say is your talent and hard work can get overlooked easily it is what it is the system is rigged and you know uh, you must know the right people. That's a fact. Because I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I should be further in my career in more ways than one. Okay. Whether it's like my nine to five career or YouTube interview and stuff like that. Um, you really have to know the right people. That's it. Marketing is so important. Era. I don't really be into that. Like, I know people be like, oh my God, I don't even want to talk about it. But 
I'm not the best at marketing myself and I don't, I'm very about my business. So I'm not on no weird stuff, you know, doing like weird sexual fables to get you to the top. I don't really know. Like, I don't know a lot of people. So I know people, but not people that could put me in a position or people that be willing to put me in a position. And some people that could put me in a position, they look at me as competition. That rhymes. I like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you really are passionate about something and you're good at it, just keep doing it. You know, you never know where it'll take you. But even if it doesn't take you where you envision it to be, that is okay. I'm on here making a video right now, just happy. Like I enjoy it. And thank you again, mom, for convincing me to get my fat, lazy tail up. Come down here and make a video because yeah, I need to do that. Um, The next one. Many people on this app are afraid of being in a committed relationship and have one fit, um, one foot in. Chad, I said one fit. Ooh. One foot in and one foot out. If social media didn't exist, they'd be all in with one person. That is a fact on fact on fact. When I tell you, when I had the leg up, up. Okay, so I was looking at this page called Millennial Married and i love that page i love seeing black marriages like it's so many of them like that's what i like to see on my feed that's what i like to watch that's what i like to share that's what i like to gauge with but child it's another side of social media that a lot of y'all part of and they be like oh i got three dudes on the side because if he act up i got another one in rotation or i ain't never giving nobody my heart again or my heart is cold or f all these dudes i'm gonna use them for money or oh i just want a baby but i ain't about to wife hurt like it's like I see why some of y'all mentality is like that because it's a lot of programming going on. That's been happening for years. Um, and I think I'm going to share a couple of clips on here for y'all to look at. Raise your hand if you're married. None of you are married. Raise your hand if you would like to be married to your baby's father. One. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of you who don't plan to get married, why don't you plan to get married? I'd like to know that. You, you already have your child to think about and then a, a whole family to care, to care for. You know, it's, it's a lot of responsibility. And then you don't want the commitments. I wouldn't want no man holding me down because I, I think I can make it as a single parent. But don't you think you might need help in raising that baby from a man? Not really. I didn't have a father. My father wasn't in the home, so, you know, it, it really... Male figures are not substantially important in the family. Yeah, it's a lot that needs to be discussed. Program has been happening for a long time, and I just want to see healthy, happy marriages. That's what I'm about. I'm about that, okay? Maybe you ain't married to the right person, but you just with them because of the circumstances, like, financially. I would still say go see a marriage counselor or whatever, even if you feel like you can't leave because, you know, y'all share responsibility. Because y'all could probably find a spark. It's a reason why y'all got married. Don't just get married and just, like, coast and be like, it is what it is. Like, pour into it. You know, I know we get lazy with all aspects of our life and even relationships, too. Sometimes you got energy to be right and be on point and do the right thing. And sometimes you be like, I'm not about to be doing all that. So cool um i said people are chasing a lifestyle that is being advertised on its ad but the lifestyle is rented borrowed or upheld by a scam y'all be scamming do you understand that i can literally go rent a lamborghini and be in it and be like new car all i gotta do is post it one time you ain't never gotta see me in that car again post it online i'm like oh my gosh like wow i can't believe you did that blah blah people be lying like i'm a big beautiful house that's rented ain't nothing wrong with that but i'm just saying like we be on here thinking that stuff is happening girls be showing like oh, i'm a business owner girl you live in your mama basement it's not an issue but what i'm saying is it's like a false reality and we over here chasing something that ain't that common it's not that common and some people be having like a million followers online and can't sell 10 t-shirts and i ain't never lied all right, modern women are very masculine and it's pushing away their need for men. That's a Fendi fact, okay? Strong, independent black woman. I'm educated. I'm smarter than you. I make more money than you. I don't 
don't respect you, then you know who I am. Oh, yeah, I'm about to play him like he played me. I'm about to dog these dudes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Root, root. Because I'm pimping out here. That's how I be. All that, like, mouth, rap, 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 rap it at the mouth, like, be talking to dudes like they your homeboy. Like, what's up? What's up? I've been there, done that. So, that's why I'm able to, like, yeah, I've been there. What's up? What's up? I've been there. It's not cute. But. I would like to see us women get back into like being more feminine and being nice and submitting and being respectful to the right man. But just in general, like carry yourself. I'm sorry. Y'all got to watch Legally Blonde. Um, I'm not getting paid to promote Legally Blonde, but I'm telling you, like, as a woman, I just wanted to be more of a woman. I just think it's such a beautiful thing. Like a man is a man for a reason. A woman is a woman for a reason. I can't do what he can do. and He can't do what I can do. But I can be more of a woman better than he ever could. And I should take pride in that. We all women should take pride in that. From what I've heard and seen, won't get married because they don't feel like they're respected. And I understand that. And then lastly, um, I went to the store today. Shout out. I did. I went to the store with my mama. We went and got a Christmas tree for the house. And I just looked around like, oh, let me finish the sentence. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I uh, went to the store today and most people are normal, average. No one looks like the filters on these apps. Like, I look average. I look average. That's what I always say. I have like a plain look, but it's cool. I like it. It's decent. I could be, I feel like I'm a, a solid, solid six. And I'm, I'm proud of it. Like, the confidence give me a couple numbers. Because you said, well... So who? So yeah, um, I'm all over the place. Um, but yeah, like girls be lashes, makeup, boobs, butt, all that. When I go in a real daily life, it's none of that. And maybe we spend too much time online, and I realize that like people don't look like that. People look a certain way online, like app filter, push it in, suck it in. Like even if you got work done, you probably still got craters on your face, stretch marks. I don't know, cellulite, saggy skin, but you could tighten all that up with an app. So don't be out here. Embrace what you got going on. Don't be out here stressing. Um, dang, I've been on this thing for like 20 minutes. I'm just rapping because it's been a minute. Okay, so look. Um, let me tell you something. I just want to say my real honest opinion. Like people praise Lizzo for being fat and confident. And I'm gonna say this: I was 193. I had confidence. I had some days where I was very insecure about my weight because I am, I like to, I, I mean, I like to keep myself up, but I'm serious. I like to keep myself up and it's just like, look, young lady, I think that you should be confident in how you are in this particular phase in your life, but know that you deserve better for yourself. Us Americans are fat. And we should not be. We overeat. We eat processed food. We eat all day. That's all I was doing. Snack, 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 snack. Eat, 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 My favorite word. Probably the first word I learned. Eat, eat. You know, people say da-da. No, I say eat, eat. But yeah. No. It's not to be celebrated to be big. You know, yes, you could say genetics, health issues, and stuff like that, which do exist and are very valid. But it is important to uh, pour into your health. And... um make sure you have yeah i want you around to have longevity so i say be confident in how you are right now but know you need better for yourself oh i ask people is intellectual stimulation a required for your uh for you in a marriage 86 percent said yes and 14 percent said no okay it sounds good to be like i want somebody smart i need somebody to you know intellectually stimulate me we could go there we could have deep conversations blah blah, blah. some people are surface level conversation people and that is okay. I don't think it's a requirement. So you telling me um, you would divorce a person like if they wasn't intellectually on your caliber? I don't think so. And if they had every single thing that you wanted, but they didn't have like those deep conversations, they didn't know what you knew about like MK Ultra or um, eugenics or, you know, stuff like that. You telling me you were married? I don't believe that. I don't think it's a requirement, but I think it's nice to have. Because you can have friends, you know, you can talk to your friends about it, your parents, your family, or whatever. It don't have to necessarily be your spouse. But 
you could teach your spouse different things and y'all can explore and go there together. But I don't think that they have to be the one like stimulating you off the bat. Now, y'all lying, but it was cute though. It was cute. I said, did your parents teach you anything about marriage? Not learning from what you saw was their actual conversation. 80% said no. Parents do better. If you're a parent and you're watching this, teach your child something. Call them. Have a random conversation. You know, son, you know, daughter, I haven't had any conversations with you about marriage, but hey, I want to talk to you about it. So we want to talk about it. 20% um, said yes. That's, um, that's, a, that's very concerning. Hold on. Let me see if I can show y'all. Did I see that? That's concerning. Um, but yeah, you know, a lot of us come from broken homes. I had already discovered this as well. So, um, yeah, but, and, and you know what? I'm not even going to just put on the parents. Y'all, we old, okay? We're older at this point. You need to open your mouth and have conversations and stop trying to figure out stuff in the world on your own when you got resources. You got mama, daddy, grandma, grandpa, cousin, auntie, uncle, whatever. Just, even if they're not married, just see what their perspective is on it. See what they think about it. Ask them, was there, did their parents talk to them about it or whatever? Because we need to mend, mend the gap. If y'all still watching this video, shout out to y'all because I know I'm rapping. I'm running my mouth. I'm rapping, rapping, rapping. Um, dang, I didn't even get to get deep, deep like I wanted to, but I know this video is getting long. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I appreciate y'all tuning in. I feel like I just stopped abruptly. But I enjoyed talking to y'all and I enjoyed y'all watching this video. Like that was dope. Even though I was talking to myself and I'm like talking to myself in a camera, it felt like I was having a conversation with y'all. Like, this is what I like. This is what I enjoy. So, you know what? Maybe I should get cute and come up on here sometime. What's up? What's up? All right. Have a great day. Peace.